The operation was intended to encircle and seize the German-occupied city of Seine, which was a D-Day objective for the British 3rd Infantry Division in the early phases of Operation Overlord. Operation Perch was to begin immediately after the British beach landings with an advance to the southeast of Seine by Triple X Corps. Three days after the invasion the city was still in German hands and the operation was amended. Next day Triple X Corps in the west, pushed south to tilly sur -Souls but then encountered the Panzer Lair Division and the village changed hands several times. I-Corps began the eastern thrust two days later from the Orne Bridgehead, which had been secured in Operation Tonga by elements of the British 6th Airborne Division on D-Day. I-Corps was also delayed by constant counter-attacks of the 21st Panzer Division. With mounting casualties and no sign of an imminent German collapse, the offensive east of Seine was suspended on June 13. The British 7th Armoured Division was diverted from tilly sur souls to advance through the gap in a flanking maneuver and force the Panzer Lair Division to fall back, to avoid encirclement. On June 14, after two days of battle including the Battle of villers bocage the 7th Armoured Division was ordered to withdraw towards Caumont. Plans were made to resume the offensive once the 7th Armoured Division had been reinforced but these were postponed, when a storm in the English Channel seriously delayed the Allied landing of supplies and reinforcements. The battle is controversial because historians and writers generally agree that failures by British divisional and corps commanders squandered an opportunity to capture scene. To resist the offensive, the Germans had committed their most powerful armoured reserves, which deprived them of the fighting power for a counter-offensive and forfeited the initiative to the Allies.